Can testosterone therapy really turn a Democrat into Republican? This is what you need to know about this very intriguing study and what the mainstream media is probably not going to tell you. First up, this is a well-designed clinical trial. It's a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial. It involves 136 young men. They're in their early 20s. 44% of these guys are Democrats. 8% of them are Republicans. 29% are independents. And the rest have no party affiliation. They give these guys before and after questionnaires to gauge their party loyalty. And then they give them either a placebo or 10 grams of androgel. That's synthetic testosterone that you rub on your skin. They take their testosterone before the study, and they also do it again 16 hours later. So here's where things get a little strange, and I don't think the mainstream media is going to talk about this. If you just look at their baseline testosterone levels, Democrats actually have higher levels. I'm looking at them right now. Democrats, the average total testosterone was 498.9 nanograms per deciliter for Democrats. That's higher than the baseline testosterone for Republicans, which clocked in at 460 nanograms per deciliter. And independents were a little bit lower. They were about 446 nanograms per deciliter. And here's where things get a little strange. If you only looked at the, the testosterone of those Democrats, who could go either way, Republican, Democrat, independent, their testosterone was actually higher. It was about 530. Nevertheless, when those guys with higher testosterone were given androgel, their party loyalty to the Democrat Party actually dropped by about 12 points. You didn't see that in either the Republicans or those who were independents. And to be clear, testosterone therapy had no impact on party loyalty among either the strong Democrats, Republicans, or independents. Bottom line, this is an intriguing study. However, it's limited to only young guys in their 20s living in California, and it does not prove that giving testosterone to Democrats will make them vote Republican.